Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the University of Portsmouth graduation ceremony. Before the ceremony begins, we would like to share with you some of our students' achievements from this year. Please enjoy our short Alumni Association video. Studying at Portsmouth was certainly a defining moment in my life and for that I will always be grateful. It's changed me as a person. I'm more confident about what I do. I am more passionate about what I'm doing. It's definitely been a massive stepping stone for me and I've enjoyed every second of it. I wanted to change lives through the use of products. Um, I wanted to have something out there that I could be proud of that I said, I, could, I did that. That's what I did. I made an impact on that person's life. Academics at the School of Architecture really inspired me to learn. They really pushed the boundaries and always made sure that students were one step ahead. It's really encouraged me to do what I want to do in the future and become a teacher. I feel like I want to learn more and engage more and be able to teach all these people what I have learned from here, from this experience. The course has changed my life massively. Not many people can say that they've gone from a lifeguard to working for the biggest pharmaceutical company at a managerial level within four years. My best memories of Portsmouth are definitely uh, the friends that I made there that I still continue to have and it's just really nice that those friendships have, have lasted now 13 years on. I think it's really important to keep in touch with the people that you study with and to see where they go and what they can do. You cross paths with people surprisingly often. It's, it's, yeah, it's good to stay in touch with your roots of where you started, I think. real sense of community here. You're literally always part of Portsmouth and they really try and help you no matter if you've just graduated, if you haven't graduated yet or years after you've graduated. One, two, three.
As Vice-Chancellor of the University of Portsmouth, it really is a great pleasure to welcome you to today's ceremony. While today is, of course, officially about conferring our academic awards on our graduating students, it is also a day to celebrate together the great success and achievements of our graduates. It is a real pleasure to declare this ceremony open. Please be seated. Vice-Chancellor, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and graduands. May I also welcome you to this graduation ceremony. My name is Rebecca Bunting, and I'm the Deputy Vice-Chancellor. I'm delighted to see so many of you here today to celebrate our students' successes. I expect you're all very relieved that your studies and exams are over. The only thing now between you and your degree is the long walk across this stage. And I've seen the heels outside that some of you are wearing, so good luck with those then is all I can say. But there's no need to worry, only one or two people fall over each year, so it, it's not likely to be you. I'm sure you'll all be fine. Now I know that no one really wants to listen to long speeches on graduation day. What you really want is to get outside, throw your mortarboards in the air and celebrate. But I do have just a few words to send you on your way. You are the successes of the education system. You have reached a very high level of knowledge and ability through your studies. But perhaps the most important thing to take away from your educational experiences should be the ability to be positively critical, to ask questions, to interrogate the information and prejudices with which we are bombarded daily but always with respect for the views of others and the processes of rationality. You will know that there is always another point of view, another side to any argument, but you will have the confidence to articulate your own position and to accept when you've got it wrong. You will respect what is good and true and encourage others to do the same. In this way, you will be helping to build an ethical world where moral and ethical values prevail, and we certainly need that at this point. I hope you will be able to hold fast to the principles and values which are the bedrock of a good society. Honesty, integrity, not accepting what is not right, and speaking out against prejudice and injustice. You will go out of here and play your part in influencing the way our society changes. You have an amazing opportunity to make a positive impact in the world. Let that opportunity not go to waste. I'm sure you will all know that the jobs market is incredibly challenging at the moment. Whether you are already in work or still looking, you will all need to be really resilient and flexible in your career aspirations. Jobs may no longer be for life, you may have to move jobs more often than you expected, change roles, be willing to do things you hadn't bargained on, and take a longer view to secure the career you really want. And you may need to be able to handle rejection and not become despondent or overly self-critical. This is a hard truth. The key thing is to keep active, involved, engaged, to look for all opportunities to enhance your potential and your CV. When we at the university talk to employers, whether they're local or national or from the public or private sector, they all tell us that in addition to qualifications, they're looking for people who can demonstrate a very wide range of skills and competences, such as communication, team working, leadership. And they want employees who keep themselves up to date, who have a strong desire to improve and develop themselves. So my message to those of you graduating today is to be strong and confident in your abilities. Enjoy your work and keep on learning and stretching your minds and expanding your skills. Wherever your career takes you, we wish you great success and fulfillment. So as you leave the university, please keep in touch with us, especially through the Alumni Association which you have joined automatically on graduating. 
Remember, you will always be part of Portsmouth. Now, today wouldn't have been possible without the help and support you've received from many people. Academic and support staff of the university, your family and friends, in many ways they have shared the challenges with you and now the joys. So I'm going to ask you to thank them on my count by cheering and applauding as loudly as you can. And don't forget that we're being broadcast on the big screen in the square outside. So let's see if we can startle a few passers-by. Are you ready? One, two, three. Okay, thank you, thank you. I know, I know, you can see yourselves on the screen. It's so exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Many congratulations to all of you. We wish you a very happy and prosperous future and welcome you to the community of graduates of the university. Thank you. Now we come to the moment in the ceremony when the students come forward onto the stage to be presented to the Vice-Chancellor. Vice-Chancellor, I certify that all those presented at this ceremony have successfully completed their studies and have satisfied all the conditions and requirements of the university. By the authority of the university, I confirm that all those who are duly qualified are hereby admitted to the awards for which they are presented. Vice Chancellor, I present to you the following successful candidates for the award of Bachelor of Arts in Contemporary Fine Art. With first class honours, Louise Bliss. <laughs> Nicola, Nicola Bonney. With first class honours, Samantha Dankvert. <laughs> Diane Faruja. <laughs> Elizabeth Fells. <laughs> Amil Hussein. Gregoris Camporidis. With first class honours, George Michels. With first class honours, Grace Moppet. Ashley Payne. Peter Towner. Yolanda Ware. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts in Fashion and Textile Design with Enterprise. Fatima Afshar Hani. <laughs> Sophie Allen. <laughs> Sophie Allen. 
Leonora Asumanin. <laughs> Hannah Baker. <laughs> Martha Beck. <laughs> Charlotte Bradbrook. <laughs> Madison Britton. Lucy Brown. Charlotte Cave. Megan Charlwood. Hayley Childs. Holly Deagle. Catherine Earl. <laughs> Ella Faulkner. <laughs> Joanna Franks Norman. <laughs> Katie Grimstead. <laughs> Hannah Hayden. Zoe Hodges. <laughs> Rebecca Hollis. <laughs> Emma Horton. <laughs> With first class honours, Katie James. <laughs> Daisy Janssen. Abigail Jarvis. <laughs> Sophie Joyner. <laughs> Joanne Manning. <laughs> Katie Pushman. <laughs> Amy Reed. <laughs> Asiel Skakey. Laura Smith. <laughs> Jasmine Stenning. <laughs> Rebecca Stone. <laughs> Charlotte Toll. <laughs> Emma Townley Taylor. <laughs> Jade Willis. Chelsea Refford. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts in Graphic Design, Dean Augustine. <laughs> With first class honours, Ali Bird. <laughs> Melanie Blair. Robbie Boatman. <laughs> With first class honours, Lauren Bowers. <laughs> Matthew Brady. <laughs> Connie Bramble. <laughs> Katie Brown. Daryl Birmingham. <laughs> Ruby Chong. <laughs> Oliver Clapp. <laughs> Scott Coates. <laughs> Rachel Cox. <laughs> George Crooks. Jack Dennehy. Nathan Denny. Eric Downer. Robert Garvey. 
Edward Geraghty. <laughs> Emma Rose Goddard. <laughs> Agnieszka Grabach. <laughs> Kenzie Gray. <laughs> Dale Greenland. Luke Griffiths. Amy Heathorn. With first class honours, Thomas Jacobs. Rebecca Kirane. Catherine Laws. With first class honours, Andy Lethbridge. <laughs> Zhu Yu Li. With first class honours, Daniel Linthwaite. With first class honours, Josh McGee. Kebshi Mystery. George Mitchell. <laughs> Benjamin Munro. <laughs> Billy Nicholson. <laughs> Jack Powell. <laughs> Peter Silk. <laughs> Ross Smith. Tony Smith. <laughs> Rebecca Spencer. <laughs> Natasha Steed. <laughs> With first class honours, Eleanor Taylor. <laughs> Alexander Thornhill. Greg Timpson. George Trashliev. Sean Trimble. Katya Vresk. Chika Wambu. Robert Way. With first class honours, Billy White. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts in Illustration. With first class honours, Oliver Arthur Baines. <laughs> Christina Ball. Phaedra Barr. With first class honours, Sophie Burkham. R Ricky Butcher. Vivian Crogan. Francesca Curtis. Bethan Davis. With first class honours, Laura Dewey. Bryony Drew. With first class honours, Matthew Dunn. Natasha Fellman. Ben Harris. Tom Healy. Curtis Hilton. With first class honours, Charlotte Knowles. 
Eleanor Major. <laughs> Kelly McKenna. <laughs> With first class honours, Adam Mitchell. <laughs> With first class honours, Jenny Nurse. <laughs> Emma Nutbeam. With first class honours, Sarah Ollis. <laughs> Lawrence Page. <laughs> With first class honours, Sophie Pierce. <laughs> Daniel Pease. <laughs> Maximus Pringle. Harriet Stranger. <laughs> Nick Webber. <laughs> Daniel White. <laughs> Lucinda Ride. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts in Photography. Sarah Baker. Chloe Barnes. <laughs> Alice Boxall Knowles. <laughs> Amber Bristow. <laughs> Hannah Brown. <laughs> Danielle Cook. Robert Crabb. <laughs> Alicia Diaz Benitez. <laughs> With first class honours, Alexandra Dragoy. <laughs> Dovilla Dudonate. <laughs> Alicia Elkins Green. With first class honours, Molly Eyre. <laughs> Laura Vazakali. <laughs> Holly Freeman. <laughs> Rachel Gatt. <laughs> Lauren Harrison. With first class honours, Tyrant Hawthorne. <laughs> James Hood. With first class honours, Courtney Husselman. <laughs> Jessica Jennings. <laughs> With first class honours, Chloe Jones. <laughs> Ellen Lazarus. <laughs> Robbie Loden. With first class honours, Charlotte Marden. With first class honours, Rebecca McKean. Matthias Migas. Thomas Needham. With first class honours, George Newing. With first class honours, Megan Pates.
with First Class Honours Hartley Pocket. Harriet Potter. Victoria Rats. With First Class Honours Jake Ratcliffe. Coral Ridley. Katie Slocum. Fabio Ibrahim. With first class honours, Katrina Springgate. Rafaela Themistopoulos. Samuel Thurgood. Catherine Tower. Ian Warren. With first class honours, Giles Watson. Ella Meyer Smith. With first class honours, Shan Yong Yuan. Master of Arts in Fine Art. With distinction, Margaret Boyce. With distinction, Louise Chandler. John Hamer. With distinction, Georgette King. Peter Misson. With distinction, Tina Signorelli. Master of Arts in Graphic Design, Jana Stilianu. <laughs> Meng Yao Wang. Vice-Chancellor, I present to you the following successful candidates for the award of Bachelor of Arts in Creative and Media Writing. Jonathan Brown. Marnie Creamer. Samuel Edwards. Charlie Frame. And with first class honours, Shakina Harris. <laughs> Poppy Louise Haskell. <laughs> Rebecca Howard. <laughs> Sean Hughes. Michael Kelleher. And with first class honours, Liam Lonigan. Charlotte Lucas. And with first class honours, Molly O'Shea. Joe Oram. Liberty Parninen. <laughs> Corey Pitfield. <laughs> Sophie Roberts. 
Paul Scott. <laughs> Lily Scurfield. <laughs> Chloe Stevens. <laughs> Sebastian Stungo. <laughs> Jamie Leah Taylor. and Bachelor of Arts in Drama and Performance, Laura Alexander. <laughs> Louise Archer. <laughs> Rosie Badham. <laughs> James Barton. <laughs> Harriet Bainham Williams. Louise Beard, Beadle, sorry. <laughs> Michaela Beard. <laughs> and with first class honours, Jeff Jennifer Bins. <laughs> Lucy Button. <laughs> Sarah Carlia. Stuart Clark. <laughs> and with first class honours, Harriet Collins. <laughs> Matthew Cooper. <laughs> and with first class honours, Charlie Cox. Hannah Davis. <laughs> William Eldridge. <laughs> Abigail Hacker. <laughs> Helen Harris. <laughs> Cassandra Hayward Tapp. Lara Howard. <laughs> Phoebe Howe. <laughs> Samir Hussein. <laughs> Claire Isles. <laughs> Rosemary James. Georgia Keegan. <laughs> Amy Kennedy. <laughs> Verity Lethbridge. <laughs> Amy Lightfoot. <laughs> Emily Mander. <laughs> and with first class honours, Ross Mason. <laughs> Sophie McAdam Clark. <laughs> Lana Miller. <laughs> Harry Morgan. <laughs> Nicole Oliver. Sarah Reedy. <laughs> and with first class honours, Alice Reynolds. <laughs> Samantha Richards. <laughs> Lydia Sloan. <laughs> Tracy Talbot. Verity Talmney. <laughs> Kaylee Teague. <laughs> Monique Thompson. <laughs> Sadie Tompkins. <laughs> and
And with first class honours, Rosie Townsend. <laughs> Becky Turner. <laughs> Steph Stephanie Umabuani. <laughs> Kate Willington. <laughs> Sanisha Winter. Amber Young. And for Bachelor of Arts in English and Creative Writing, Zia Akhtar. Alexander Bryan. Joe Buckle. David Burleson. James Daintree. Claire Davies. Rebecca Field. Lauren Fuller. Amelia Gibson. Robert Gould. <laughs> Jessica Hamilton. <laughs> Rosanna Harrison. <laughs> Altia Husted. <laughs> Rosalie Lafriec. Rose Lucas. <laughs> Sasha Mitchell. <laughs> and with first class honours, Bryony Noble. <laughs> Alison Shine. <laughs> Florence Wellen. And for Bachelor of Arts in English and Drama, Alexander Baxter. <laughs> Alex Bergham. <laughs> and with first class honours, Rosie Burton. <laughs> Amber David. Francesca Dean. <laughs> Jamie Dowell. <laughs> Catherine Ellis. <laughs> Raina Martin. And with first class honours, Abigail McPhail. <laughs> Natasha Page. <laughs> Catherine Parton Ballantyne. <laughs> Crystal Rodri Rod sorry, Rodriguez. <laughs> Jessica Siggers. <laughs> Joe Stonely. <laughs> Scarlett Welling. <laughs> and with first class honours, Harriet Widlake. <laughs> and for Bachelor of Arts in English and Film Studies, Helen Banyard. Sahura Huck. <laughs> Chloe Hensley. 
Greg Kitchen. <laughs> Oliver Strudwick. And in Bachelor of Arts in Film and Television Studies, Jessica Barnard. <laughs> Matthew Ellis. <laughs> Jack Everly. <laughs> Matthew Godden. <laughs> Natasha Howarth. Charlotte Hughes. <laughs> Ellie Judd. <laughs> Jessica Killundren. <laughs> Lisa Marie Layburn. <laughs> Priscilla Loke. Luke Masterson. Amy Maving. Henry Nash. Zia Rahi. Kushi Senghani. Daniel Thomas. <laughs> Drew Thomas Bismire. <laughs> and in Bachelor of Arts in Film Studies, Christian Ward. <laughs> Eliane Amart. Stephen Blackman. <laughs> Agna Chervinskita. <laughs> and with first class honours, Francis Cohen. <laughs> Nicholas Coonan. <laughs> and with first class honours, Miranda Dawson. And with first class honours, James Edamanniger. <laughs> Sebastian Engelman. <laughs> and with first class honours, Beth Irwood. <laughs> Scott Etherington. <laughs> Zach Gaydon. George Gurr. <laughs> Nicole Harrison. <laughs> Christopher Harvey. <laughs> Aziz Hatabi. <laughs> Jade Henderson. Jamie Howard. <laughs> Alexandra Kelleher. <laughs> Peter Kirkpatrick. <laughs> and with first class honours, Hannah Lerwill. <laughs> Katie Littlewood. Peter Lyons. <laughs> James Mackinson. <laughs> Rachel McClure. <laughs> Isabel McKeever. <laughs> Simon Marie. Stephen Morley. 
Maria Payandi. Jack Phillips. Stephen Pye. Adam Roberts. Thomas Roberts. Sam Tansley. Noor Tukiran. Clara Turner. Shelby Walker. Maxwell White. Jesse Williams. Oliver Wilshire. And with first class honours, Jason Yu. And for Bachelor of Arts in Film Studies and Creative Writing, and with first class honours, Stephanie Gray. Mark Hazelden. Hugh Whittle. And for Bachelor of Arts in Media Studies, Ollie Alessandro. Robin Benson. Lola Campbell. James Carrington. Benjamin Carey. Tammy Chan. Jasvina Chana. Josh Deuce. Holly Dunkley. Daisy Fisher. Amy Fox. Michael Gabre Christos. Stefan Garvin. Jade Gorod. Lewis Griffiths. Elaine Ho. Mitch Hooper. Belal Hussein. Alice Jameson. Edie Jenkins. Floella Johnson. And with first class honours, Georgia Kimber. Sophie Kinneman. Peter Lancefield. Sal Mancuso. Natasha Marsh. March, I'm sorry. Jennifer Marshman.
Frankie Meller. Nicholas Metcalf. Zara Moogle. Jay Nash. Jessica Newman. Yatunde Otten. Hannah Parkinson. Harry Richardson. Leela Robertson. Charlotte Robinson. Emma Satchdev. Anthony Sordi. And with first class honours, Kimberly Simpson. Alison Smith. Luke Stratford. Nicole Thomas. Michael Thompson. Natalie Thompson. Eddie Yur. Amber Weekly. And with first class honours, George White. <laughs> Stephanie Yeo. And in Bachelor of Arts in Media Studies and Entertainment Technology, Arnie Abello. George Baker. And with first class honours, Sean Barber. <laughs> Carrie Ann Bruff. <laughs> Paul Bruce. <laughs> Emily Clark. <laughs> Grant Clark. Max Poles. Thomas Day. Ben Andemir. Bethan Evans. Scott Morley. Morey. Natasha Pullinger. Roger Raj Kumar. Robert Stockton. Cheryl Tether. Craig van der Sluiseers. Raul Vicaria. Lisa Wildish. Claire Ewan. Now, Balanji Shitu. And for a Master of Arts in Creative Writing, Davis Dean. Christina Hartshorn. Laura Higgum. Caroline King.
Alice Wright. And for Master of Arts in Film and Television Studies, Kaylee Arnold. And with distinction, Penny Chalk. <laughs> Natalie Draper. <laughs> Tuluwani Obayan. <laughs> Jamie Reed. <laughs> Dominique Shaw. Gemma White. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, I present to you Harriet Bainham Williams, who will respond to the university on behalf of the graduates. I didn't say anything yet. <laughs> Vice Chancellor. Whew, thank you. <laughs> Let me first begin by saying what an absolute honour it is to be chosen to represent all the graduating students here today. And let me also say how much of a relief it is that I did not trip up in my heels on the way here. Uh, a drama and performance degree is not a wasted one if you can elegantly hold yourself up on stage. Marilyn Monroe once said, give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world. As far as I can see, Marilyn, the Scaffern students of this year all have the right footwear and are more than set to make their mark on the professional world. John Steinbeck once wrote, change comes like a, witch, a little wind that ruffles the curtains at dawn and it comes like a stealthy perfume of wild flowers in fresh grass. Change creeps up on us and suggests leaving the past behind. It's exciting, but also rather scary. The, the journey through university centers around change. Change in yourself, in your situation, your lifestyle and ambitions. Change in your bank balance, and a dramatic change in your ability to drink like you're on a lad's holiday most weekends. <laughs> university is an ever-changing journey of self-discovery. And of course, some weeks of that journey are better than others. We've all experienced the hardships of missing home, the heartbreaks of mistaken young love, and the stresses of academic life. The journey can be quite the struggle, but at the same time, it can be an absolute pleasure, and with it brings rewards, not least today when we collect our degrees. I stand here and ask myself what achievement is. For some parents, I'm sure, seeing their son in a tie for once is one, and to others, making it this far in the day without shedding a tear is perhaps another. For the students, however, every one of you has achieved something huge by jumping that final hurdle and sitting here today. Achieving happiness overall is important to me, and that comes in the company of great friends. This whole university malarkey works so well because we embrace it all together, united as a lively mix of creatives and cultural students. Let's briefly look back at that naive pressure, being thrown into a house or halls of residence, into a home full of complete strangers that somehow you grow to love. The fresher that doesn't really know how to use a tin opener correctly, and yet in three years' time will be selling themselves as the most convincing professional in an interview. And the fresher that doesn't have any money and has a 9 a.m. lecture the next morning but comes through like an absolute trooper similar to Braveheart and conjures up a £10 note out of somewhere just to ensure their new housemate's birthday is one that they won't forget. This role of the fresher is all too familiar to me, mainly because I've done it twice now. <laughs> and as I come to the end of my challenging five-year journey at the University of Portsmouth, 
I'm sure the staff are more than ready to see the back of me. On behalf of myself and all the graduates, I want to thank those staff, the faculty, the department, the inspirational lecturers, the talented and patient technicians, and the administrators that have helped us along our way. It is thanks to the commendable family-like team at this university that the Creative School is very much alive and kicking. To them, we owe everything. Life can often be unexpected, but how dull would it be if it all went to plan? And how lonely would this journey have been if we didn't do it together? The fact is that without the endless support of our friends and families, we would not have had anywhere near as much fun along the way. Families, those desperate phone calls pleading for immediate cash and quick because we'd already run out of money in only the second week of term will never be forgotten. Nor will the fact that you never judged us, not once, not even when we ignored your calls of concerns the night before handing day as we were preoccupied with our new favorite place that was the library after dark. Despite not being present in person, families have believed in us every step of the way. And for that, there is a serious element of today that is about congratulating you too. Life is about learning. Today isn't just about receiving that well-deserved degree. It's about the friends that we've made along our way, the bad choices that we've overcome, and the transformation into adulthood that we've all shared. Today is about survival. And it's not even really survival of the fittest, it's more survival of the determined. Everyone here was determined from the start to complete a degree in the creative sector that they so loved, and I leave with the skills, personality, and confidence required to fulfill their lifetime goals. We've all shared similar experiences. We've all had that feeling of sheer arrogance when checking our bank balance to find that the loan has come in and insist on living like an absolute king that day. <laughs> and we've all been there the next day when we realize that we hit Guildhall Walk a bit too hard and will therefore be living off paths of bake for the rest of the entire term. We have two choices in life, give up or give it your all. Scaffin students of 2014 have certainly given it their all and I think our students are a major driving force of this unique city. I'm told that it's a tough old world out there, but to be honest, if you can survive a degree, I think you're ready to survive anything. Please join me in thanking the university, the families and friends. Remember today, for it is just the beginning. Fellow graduates, this is our moment. I stand in front of such a diverse group of talent and see future presenters, performers, musicians, and writers. And I'm even told that there is a potential Michael McIntyre look-alike from the television course here too. <laughs> At the end of my speech, which I promise is near, I ask that you don't need to get up and give me a standing ovation, but instead insist that you get up and give yourselves one. Thank you for your kind attention. Many congratulations to each and every one of you and the best of luck for the future. Because finally, <sighs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please stand and show your appreciation and let's hear it for the School of Creative Arts, Film and Media graduates of 2014. <laughs> I have to say it takes a lot to be able to stand up and speak to an audience the size of this so that was uh, brilliant thank you very much for that excellent now at this point uh, in the proceedings uh, what normally happens is our chancellor uh, sandy toxford gets up and says a few words but unfortunately she couldn't be with us today because she was recording for her tea for our radio program but you know sandy doesn't like to miss a graduation and so what she's done is used the wonders of modern technology and recorded a special message from her uh, to you at this graduation. So let's hear from Sandy Toxvig. 
Hi there. I am so sorry not to be with you. There's nothing I like better than a chance to wear my Harry Potter outfit. Uh, I'm working today at the BBC and you will find this now that you are no longer students. Work will sometimes get in the way of the things you'd much rather be doing. But what can I say to you? You did it! Even those of you who perhaps, you know, knew the student bar rather better than anyone thought sensible did it. What a relief. Uh, mainly, of course, to your parents. Uh, quick word with your parents. Look what you did. I know how proud you must be. I have watched my own kids graduate, and it is an astonishing feeling. I've also dreamt of everything I was going to do with the kids' bedrooms uh, once they left, only to find that they're still there. So, you know, good luck with that. Uh, it seems to me the lucky student who comes to study is a bit like a block of marble arriving in a sculptor's studio. It's full of potential, which, with the help of great teaching and facilities, lies waiting to be discovered. There's a wonderful story about the sculptor Gutson Borglum, who was of Danish descent, I'm pleased to say. And he is the man who carved the four presidents' faces in the face of Mount Rushmore. Now, you want to not get that wrong, so he got a block of marble to practice in his studio. And he was carving away, trying to get the face of Abraham. Lincoln right and he just got to the stage where the face was beginning to appear in the marble when a little girl came and looked at it and she looked and looked and she said is that Abraham Lincoln and Goodson Burglum said yes and she said how did you know he was in there and I feel it's a bit like that with your student child who is graduating today how did you know that that child was going to turn into the wonderful adult that they have well thank goodness that they did my advice to that young adult Try and be in the moment, okay? I know everybody these days likes to be constantly on their phones, texting and tweeting. Try and enjoy the moment that you're in and the people that you are with. Enjoy being young, enjoy being beautiful. I don't have to see you to know that you are all gorgeous. Um, but here's the bad news, I'm afraid it won't last, okay? Boys, your hair is going to go, and girls, you don't want to know what's going to go. Uh, so revel in your youth and grasp life. Now, I'm a, I'm a realist. I know that sometimes things uh, will go wrong in your lives. I think about Beethoven, that genius composer who very sadly went deaf. Uh, in fact, when he had composed his Ninth Symphony, which contains the incredibly moving Ode to Joy, he was the only person who never heard it and who was in the theatre that day. But do you know, when he was on his way to rehearsals uh, for that fantastic, life-affirming piece, he was heard shouting in the street, grab life by the throat. Isn't that a fantastic motto? And so too is the motto of Portsmouth. Lucem sequamo, let us follow the light, the inner light that comes from education, from expanding the mind. Your education does not finish today. It begins as you go out and grab life by the throat. I wish you every success. Well, that uh, brings our ceremony to a close, so I just want to end by saying congratulations to all who have graduated today and all who have supported them while they have been studying at the university. So only remains for me to conclude the formal proceedings by declaring this congregation closed. I would ask you now to stand for the academic procession.